Hi, my name's Hashim Dada. I'm one of the doctors here today. Can I start by confirming your name and your age, please? Yeah, it's Robert Cartwright Speakman. I'm 23. It's nice to meet you, Robert. Today, I'd like to perform a hand and wrist examination. That's going to involve me having a look at your hand, your wrist, and your elbow, and then feeling some of the joints in the hand and wrist, and then asking you to perform some movements. Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. Before we begin, are you in any pain at all? No, I'm good. Brilliant. So I can start by asking you to show me your elbows like this. Rest your hands on the pillow. Now I'm going to feel of your wrist. I'm going to feel the pulse. joints just let me know if you're in any pain okay You could bring your thumbs up for me. I'm going to press down. Okay. See if there's any pain. You can relax your thumbs now. I'm going to test the feeling in your hands now. What I'd like you to do is for you to close your eyes and then let me know when I've pressed your hand. Okay. Yep. Yep. And turn your hands over for me. Yep. 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 Thank you. I could ask you to turn your hands over now. Yep. Thank you. Brilliant. Now I'd like to ask you to turn your hands back over. What I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze the hand. You just let me know if it's painful. Okay. How's that? That's okay. Same? Yeah, that's okay. Right, I'm going to have a feel of each of the joints in your hand now. Okay.
Brilliant. Now I'm going to ask you to do some movements with your hand. Okay. So you could start by holding your wrists up like this, and then moving them back, and then forward. Great. Uh, and then if you could hold your hands out like this, and fold each of your fingers individually. Yeah. And then if you could hold them over, turn them over, and then fold them, and then extend each one out. Um, if you could hold your hands out like this, I'm going to hold your hand, and I'd like you to fold it against my my hand. Brilliant, thank you. And the next one, the next one, the next one, and then your thumb. Thank you. So this hand, all of them. And now, just that thumb. Just the thumb. If you put your thumbs up like this and stop me pushing them out. Brilliant. I'm going to ask you to squeeze my fingers now. Brilliant. If you can make an OK sign like this and stop me pulling your fingers apart. Brilliant. If you splay your fingers out like this, I'm going to try and uh, push them in, stop me pushing them in. And then the thumb. Brilliant. Now, if you put your wrists up for me, and I'm going to push it down, stop me pushing it down, and stop me pushing up. And the same on the other side. Put your hands together like this, like that, and then hold that for half a minute. And then, and then just leave it. Okay, and now if I could ask you to do the opposite, so if you could put your hands like that and hold that for a minute now. Anything? No. What I'd like you to do is to hold this piece of paper between your hand and your thumb. Okay. Now I'm going to pull the piece of paper. I want you to hold on to it with okay. your thumb as flat as possible. Okay. What I'd like to ask you to do now is to put your thumb in your palm, okay. fold your fingers over your thumb, and just relax. I'm going to move your wrist okay. and tell me if you feel any pain. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Now I'd like to ask you to pick up this coin and then put it back down. Okay. Today, I examine Robert's hands and wrists. On inspection, Robert looked well, and there were no signs of pathology. On palpation, there was no bony or joint tenderness in the hands or wrists. He had a full range of passive and active movement. Robert's hands and wrists were neurovascularly intact. Overall, this was a normal examination. Further to my examination, I'd like to take a history from Rob, examine the elbow, carry out an upper limb neurological examination, and consider X-ray imaging and compare this with any available previous radiographs.